Oh, what's going on, people? Welcome back to the Magpie Channel TV. I'll tell you what's going on. <laughs> Worst performance of the season. That's what's just gone on. Goodness me. I didn't want to get too carried away today because, look, we've just, like, in terms of ranting, because we've just won five games in a row. We are still in the Champions League. Yes, my United play tomorrow. Spurs are playing in half an hour. I don't know, Bournemouth. So you don't want to go too over the top, but I'll tell you what, that I, honestly was, and people are seeing it in the chat and the watch along, Worst performance of the season. That was the worst performance since Mike Ashley was here for me. Honestly, I really think it was. I'm, it was absolutely terrible, horrible, painful to watch. The defence was so bad. You'd never think that that was one of the best defences in the league, statistically, you know, officially. Was so slow, was so off the pace. I mean, I've been seeing it for weeks. Dan Burns got to come out of the team. He did brilliant for a bit. Leading up the cup final and stuff, especially, but he's been his legs. He's been he's been so off the pace for weeks now. I, I can't understand, and I don't understand why more changes weren't made. It's like the changes that were made had an impact. When we brought Isaac and Wilson on, within seconds they nearly scored. They nearly combined together. Isaac chipped one in. Wilson just couldn't stretch out his leg. Just couldn't score. Almiron who comes on, tests Martinez, pushes one over the bar, hits the side netting, and then up the other end. The defence may as well not have been there non-existent yet again in the concede an easy goal i mean look at everyone's wanking off watkins what watkins wank off and yes he's very good he, he causes problems he, he troubles the defenders he gets in the right areas but he's had tappings tapping merchant he's having easy goals it's not like he's oh he banged that one in the bottom corner when he did have a one-on-one -on -one, he hit the post it's not like oh wow top corner pope had no chance literally easy easy finishes for Ollie watkins and you know he is a, he's just a good strike i like i've said but We've made life so easy for them today. It was a very bad day at the office for Newcastle and a very easy day at the office for Aston Villa. Ashley Young, Ashley not so young. What is he now, 37, 47? Do you know what I mean? Gordon gets a start down that wing, does nothing. One of the fastest players statistically in the Premier League, Anthony Gordon, not once does he try and take a pass to a 40-year-old. Not once does he try and dribble past him, take him on. He was quiet, he was crap. Um, going forward, what crap, you know, when, when Isaac was so isolated. I just, I, honestly, after that Brentford game, I don't understand how we don't start Wilson and Isaac together. Look at how well it worked. It was like we didn't we learn with lesson. Um, we can't berate how, you know what I mean? He's been amazing. The changes he made last week at half-time worked a treat. But today, you've got to you've got to make them changes earlier. Like, I mean, they, they make the changes at, what was it, 60 minutes? It's too late. Target comes on for Burns, 68 minutes. Way too late. They've got to be made sooner. They've got to be made on the half an hour mark. You can see things are going wrong. I wouldn't even wait until half time. But for me, the changes should have happened in the build that we did. Obviously, rest long stuff. Long stuff goes to the bench. Um, and like I say, brings in Gordon. Gordon had a chance. You know, he threw a strop last week. Go on, then show what you're worth. Show that you're 45 million. Show that you should be starting. Show that you should be getting more game time that you're clearly whinging about. Doesn't prove a thing, does he? You know, maybe he is better off the bench. I see Aaron in the chat there. Tactically, Emery done us the day he did. Emery got one over on Howe. Got one over him for the Newcastle job. He was off at it before Eddie. He turned it down and he got he done him the day. Like And Villa did us out of our own game. It's times 10. You know, everyone likes to try and say this thing about Newcastle. The dark arse, the cheating, the time wasting. Villa did that way worse than we've done at all. They were shocking. Embarrassing. Any time the slightest little touch and... Jumping up in the air, McGinn's jumping off his little two Scottish feet. Buendia's hitting the deck every second. It was embarrassing from them. Moreno at left back. Anytime someone ran past him, he said, ah, you know what I mean? He hits the deck. Oh, terrible from them. Diving, cheating, time wasting. Crap. But to be honest, I'm, they, they, they shouldn't do that because they're actually a really good side. And I think Emery's doing a brilliant job there. I think they were dangerous. I showed them respect in the preview. I said, well, it was going to be a draw. And I was worried about this one. Lunchtime kickoff, Villa Park, Villa flying in six. You know, they're, they're doing really well. They're on good form. Watkins is scoring for fun. You can see it. But in the passage of play, they look dangerous from the off. I thought Jacob Ramsey was very good. He's getting in between the lanes. You know, they're passing through very nicely. They're quite good going forward. Nice to watch. I thought I'm a big critic of Tyrone Mings. I don't rate him at all. But today, he was very good. Not that he had that much to do or deal with, but when he did, he was he was good, him and Konza. So the, the, they're a very good team with a very good manager. 
it's just kind of sad to see them how time wasting and diving the way, cheating like that. Um, and three nil in the end is terrible, isn't it? I mean, three nil in the end is like people will look at that they think, oh, Newcastle. I thought they were flying. They've been bad. Three nil, and we were bad. And Villa did deserve three. Easy, you know. We were really, really bad to do. We never looked threatening. We never looked at it. We're totally off, off ourselves. Um, I thought we looked the shadow of ourselves. Maybe the games are catching up, but we had those three. You know, we had five wins in a row, and it was, but it was shocking to see. It was dreadful. It was woeful. It was hopeless. Dan Byrne at the back, so off it. But all the defending, you like I said again for Watkins' goals, we're just sitting off, sitting off. We're letting them pass it around the box. Frightening how bad that was, how bad that defending was. Scary, scary how terrible that defending was. And we never threatened enough until we did make the changes. When Almiron and Wilson came on, we had a good five minutes. When Martinez made a couple of big saves. But it was kind of too little too late. Do that later on. Uh, we did it too late on, sorry, you should be done earlier. And we've been absolutely uh, battered the other day. Absolutely battered. Completely destroyed. Anyways, so we're going to next week now. Like you know, we're kind of let our heads drop or anything. It was good to see the away fans still clapping the lads off the pitch, even after that shocking performance and getting battered 3 0. Next Sunday is even bigger now. Because look, if we had a one today, it would have been six points clear of Spurs. Six points gap in the, in the top four. Spurs are playing Bournemouth today. We play them next Sunday at St. James Park. We have to get the place rocking. And uh we have to make sure we at least don't lose, first and foremost. Don't allow Spurs to come above us on goal difference and stuff. But we've got to be looking to win that game. And it's a massive game now. It's huge in terms of the top four race. Look, at the end of the day, we've been flying. We've been to some really tough games. Forest on a Friday night. Brentford last Saturday, come back and winning. Uh, mine it at home. Let's just forget about it now. We don't want to be negative. The season's amazing. We're still top four. Let's move on. And let's change things up. Let's start. Wilson and Isaac, we've got to have got to start them both next week. They've both got to be on the pitch. They're too much of a threat not to. Um, good that Amiron will hopefully be able to start next week as well. So yeah, let's move on. Let's quickly move on because that's don't let that Saturday lunchtime ruin your weekend because it's quite easily good. But I'm not going to do it. Had enough. Do you know what I mean? Don't want that to ruin it. I don't want to see these goals back to the first one there. Ramsey, how is nobody watching the runner? Ramsey Watkins' his sister's class stretching the head out, but. Ramsey, again, we're just sitting off. Again, there's no one, there's no Murphy, Willick, anyone tracking him. We even we even had a chance from VR. VR ruled one that Watkins' goal offside minutes before he scored the second. We didn't take advantage of it. The ref for Rian was absolutely honking today. Disgraceful. They were giving in everything from the Villa fans. Anytime there was a little shout, the linesman was like, oh, okay, must be a, must be a offside, must be a foul. The referee were giving us nothing, giving Villa everything to every time they hit. Hit the floor for very minimal contact. The referee straight away blowing his whistle. Crap. Crap, crap, crap. Let's quickly see what you were saying in the chat before I sign off because I'm I'm ready to just forget about that that ever happened and move on with my weekend. Um, players didn't show any fight, deserve he lost. Feel like crowd man the match. Bad idea, the officer happens. Embarrassing performance. Every team loses. That was shocking. Uh, Dan Byrne found out again, looked terrified, and Shaw had a mare today. Ref was a bell end, too. Awful performance. Villa at the first ball every time. The way, and I tell you what, when we were going forward, our passing just wasn't good enough. Our crossing was barely beating the first man. Oh. Yeah, it, was, it was awful. Absolutely awful. Why well, put Isaac out wide after half time? I know. He, he, 4-4-2. Honestly, dude, what, what, look at how great it was against Brentford, how well it worked. Brentford Villa, very similar, very similar. Should have done the same thing. Should have had the same tactics. Yeah. Big game next week. Burn has been miles off since the final. Absolutely. Really poor idea. We miss Longstaff. Yeah. This now I've given Longstaff a stick in the past, but he's had a very good couple of months now and the energy in the middle of the park. Maybe we did miss that because their midfield was class like Douglas Louise, brilliant, even McGinn, you know. No, was not good. Was not good. I tell you what, I'll see you all there. Thanks for watching. Drop your comments below if you're of, um, if you're of watching this one back, you're not watching live. Shout out everyone that's tuned in. Make sure you subscribe to the Mac by Channel TV. And I will see you on the next one. Enjoy the rest.